Slabs are the most commonly used structural elements in construction and knowing how to design them is very crucial for any engineer or architect. In this video, I will walk you through the step by step process of designing a one way slab using excel sheet, thus making the calculations faster and more accurate. So let's get started. This is the excel sheet which I have prepared for the design of one way slab and this one is the simply supported case. All you need to do is to input the values in the yellow cells. So we have a one way slab of length 6 meters. The width of the slab is 3 meters. And let's use M20 grade of concrete and FE415 steel. According to which the value of FCK shall be 20 and FY will be equal to 450 Newton per mm square. The thickness of the supports or the thickness of walls is 230 mm. Now moving to the second step in which we need to calculate the effective depth of the slab. First of all, we need to assume the percentage of steel. Let's assume 0.4% of steel. The modification factor is derived from figure 4 on page 30 of IS 456-2000. The value of FS corresponding to FE415 is 240 and the modification factor for 0.4% of steel corresponding to FS equal to 240 will be 1.3. So we need to input 1.3 in this box. The basic value you will get from class 23.2.1 of IS 456-2000 according to which for a simply supported beam or slab the basic value is 20. So we got the effective depth of the slab as 115.38. Let's assume this as 115 mm and let's provide 20 mm clear cover. The dia of bars is assumed to be 10 mm and we will get the overall depth of the slab equal to 140 mm. Now moving to the third step in which we need to calculate the effective span of the slab. The value of effective span will automatically be calculated as this depends on two criteria according to clause 22.2 of IS 456-2000. The first one being clear span plus effective depth which is 2.88 meter. The second criteria is center to center distance and whichever is the lesser value among these two values will be the effective span of the slab. So effective span of slab will be 2.885 meter. Moving to the fourth step in which we need to calculate the load on the slab. The overall depth of the slab is 140 mm. Density of RCC as we know 25 kN per meter cube. The self weight of slab is automatically calculated as 3.5 kN per meter square which is equal to the depth of slab into density of RCC. Now let's assume the live load on slab equal to 3 kN per meter square and floor finish 1 kN per meter square. These values have been derived from IS 875 part 1. The total unfactored load will be calculated as 7.5 kN per meter square and the total factored load will be 11.25. Moving to the fifth step in which we need to calculate the design factored moment. The design factored moment is given by WU L effective square upon 8. WU is nothing but the total factored load on slab and L effective is already calculated as 2.885. So we got the design factored moment equal to 11.7 kN meter. Now moving to the sixth step in which we need to check for the depth of the slab. As the MU is already calculated and required depth will be 65 mm. This clearly indicates that the required depth is lesser than the depth provided. Hence the slab will be safe in flexure. Moving to the seventh step in which we only need to assume the dia of the main bar. Let's provide 10 mm dia bars and area of one bar will be calculated as 78.5. The spacing required will be 263 mm. The spacing of main bars is decided by clause 26.3.3 according to which the spacing of main bars shall be either 3D where D is the effective depth of the slab or 300 mm or the spacing required which we have already calculated. The lesser one among these values will be considered as the spacing of the main bars. As you can see 263 is the lesser one among all the three values. Let's provide 260 mm spacing. Hence we have to provide 10 mm dia bars at 260 mm center to center. The area of steel provided for the main bars will be 301.9 mm square. Now moving to the 8th step in which we need to check for the minimum reinforcement. The AST minimum will be 160 mm which is lesser than the AST provided. Hence the slab will be safe for the provided reinforcement. 
moving to the ninth step in which we need to check if the slab is safe in deflection or not so the value of fs is calculated as 237.64 and the percentage of steel provided is generated as 0.26% again we need to input the modification factor according to 0.26% of steel and fs equal to 237.64 according to the figure 4 the modification factor for 0.26% of steel corresponding to fs equal to 237 will be 1.5 so we got the required depth for deflection which is 100 mm and since we have already provided a greater depth than the depth required for deflection hence the slab will be safe in deflection moving to the last step in which we need to calculate the distribution steel in this step we only need to assume the dia of the distribution bars and rest of the values will automatically be calculated. Let's provide 8 mm dia bars and area of one bar will be 50.24. The spacing required will be 299 mm. The criteria of spacing for distribution bars is derived from clause 26.3.3 according to which to decide the spacing of distribution bars we have to follow three criteria. The first one being 5D where D is the effective depth of the slab. The second criteria is 450 mm and the third criteria is spacing required which is 299 mm as you can see the lesser one is 299 let's provide 290 mm of spacing hence for distribution bars we need to provide 8 mm dia bars at 290 mm center to center now let's have a look at the detailing part of the slab as you can see we have provided 8 mm distribution bars at 290 mm center to center and 10 mm main bars at 260 mm center to center. This is the sectional view of the slab along the shorter span that's 3 meter and section BB is the longer span that's 6 meter. The overall depth of the slab is calculated as 140 mm. We have provided alternative bent up bars along the shorter span of the slab and distribution bars along the longer span. So this was all about this lecture. If you want this excel sheet along with the manual calculation pdf, you can check out the link in the description box of this video. Thank you.